And let me just backtrack a little bit. How many apostles were there originally? Twelve. Twelve. Okay. And then, I don't know, some of you may know this, but let's go to Matthew chapter 27, verse 3 through 5. He betrayed Christ and then he went out and did something. He hanged himself. Mathematicians, help me out here. There were 12 apostles. Judas went out and hanged himself. How many apostles were there now? Do you realize when Jesus died on the cross there were only 11 apostles? Did you know that? One of the apostles killed himself. So that leads to a very interesting situation here. Now Jesus died, rose from the dead, and then he left the apostles. And remember, he gave the apostles authority. So when Jesus ascended into heaven, how many apostles were there? Eleven. Eleven. <laughs> and then we find out what happens next in the church. Jesus commanded these apostles to go out and spread the good news to all the world and baptize people. The apostles, after Jesus ascended, could have done all kinds of things. But let's read the very first thing that the apostles did after Christ ascended to heaven. Instead of doing the hundreds of other things they could have done, let's see what they did. And we're going to go to the history book of the Bible, which is Acts of the Apostles. Acts chapter 1, verse 20. For it is written in the book of Psalms, Let this encampment become desolate, and may no one dwell in it, and may another take his office. What the apostles are doing, they're addressing this vacant office of, of Judas. The very first thing the apostles are doing are addressing the issue that one of their apostles is gone. There's an empty office. And notice what it says in some Bibles. May another take his office. Did you catch that? His office. What's an office? Position. A position. How long does that position last? Like, Think about the presidency of the United States. Oh, terms. Is that a... That's an office, isn't it? How long does that last? I mean the office of presidency. When did it start? GW, George Washington, right? And George GW again. George W. Bush is still in the same office. George W. Bush has the same office as George Washington did. It's the office. The office lasts... Forever. Forever. So what happens if a person dies in office? What happens if a president dies? Does it mean presidency is gone forever? Yeah. What happens? Replace the vice president. He's replaced. A person is replaced into the office. Well, look at what it says here in, in Acts. May another take his office. They're identifying the position of an apostle as an office. Office meaning ongoing. Do you see that? Catholics, it's so important. The apostles held an office that lasts forever. And then, there's a, it's called an office, but more specifically, we give the, this office a name. And Todd, I want you to read your translation again in a loud voice and pay special attention to this, folks. For it is written in the book of the Psalms, Let the habitation be desolate, and let no man dwell therein. And his bishopric let another take. His Bible says, let his bishopric. Bishopric. This is where the Catholic Church gets bishop. 
A bishop is a successor of an apostle. That's what a bishop is. It's an office, and the title of an office is bishop. The King James Version, it's probably King James. That's how they translate it. This is where Catholics get the office of bishop. And let's just take it a little step further and read what happens. Can we read verse 21 through 26? Again, in a loud voice, and pay special attention to this, folks. For it is written in the book of the Psalms, Let his habitation be desolate, and let no man dwell therein, and his bishopric let another take. His Bible says, let his bishopric. Bishopric. This is where the Catholic Church gets bishop. A bishop is a successor of an apostle. That's what a bishop is. It's an office, and the title of an office is bishop. The King James Version, it's probably King James. That's how they translate it. This is where Catholics get the office of bishop. And let's just take it a little step further and read what happens. Can we read verse 21 through 26? Therefore it is necessary that one of the men who accompanied us the whole time, the, the whole time Lord Jesus came and went among us, beginning from the baptism of John until the day on which he was taken up from us become with us a witness to his resurrection. Go on. Yep, all the way. To the end. So, they, so they proposed two, Joseph called Barnabas, who was also known as Justus, and Matthias. Then they prayed, You, Lord, who know the hearts of all, show which one of these two you have chosen to take the place in this apostolic ministry for which Judas turned away to go to his own place. Then they gave, lot, then gave lots to them, and the lot fell upon Matthias, and he was counted with the <laughs> eleven apostles. So what did the eleven apostles do? They drew lots. They what? Lots. They voted and... They chose Matthias to be an apostle. apostle. They chose Matthias now to fill that office that was vacated by Judas. So mathematicians, now we have one more. Well. Now we're up to 12 again. Do you see what the apostles just did? They filled the office. They filled the office. Okay, now we have 12 apostles. Let's just go one step and we'll take a break here. Let's see what else happened. Does anyone remember a person named Paul? Remember Paul? Saul of Tarsus. He was a bad dude. He hated Christians. He wanted to kill Christians. And then he was on this road and he underwent a conversion experience. And he became a Christian. 